the old sapping people's candor here i just want to say a big thank you to all of you guys for the support in the recent video um the last combo season four thingy that i did um we've got well over 4k views it's incredible um yeah once again just big thank you guys for all the support it really means a lot um one thing is that in the video i didn't cover um like the actual changes that happened it was just more of a combo showcase and even some of the sh some of the combos um the ray drives one specifically um i didn't show some things which i'm going to try and show in this video um as well so um once again just a big thank you um but yeah let's get into it so one of the changes that lars actually got um in this new patch is that during his dynamic entry which is this move here oh my bad which is this one here forward three sorry he actually gets a um a new he got a new race drive which is three plus four now this is really good because it kind of mixes up his options whereas before you'd kind of just go for the mid jab or this now the trade-off of the the rage drive is that obviously you get basically 50 damage it's 49 but 50 damage um from using it but the problem is um not really a big problem but the problem is is that it's not actually safe so if they block that you're minus 13 so you you get punished for using that um so it's still decent but it's the trade-off instead of you get more reward going for the low instead of doing this where you'd get launched you get way more trade-off for doing that and also if you can get the last hit or if they press or something you get a full get a full flow full combo so it's kind of similar to harrowing's rage drive as well which is pretty cool um, so that's one of the changes that you got um, so the next change that Lars actually got is that the um, one on one combo, so this this string here, one one one. Um, they change the damage, so the first hit um, used to do seven damage. Um, that's still the same, so that's still seven. His jab. Um, the next hit, they've changed it from um, ten to eight, so slight decrease in damage by two points. But then the last hit, um, they've made it a bit more rewarding for using the whole string. Whereas it goes, it used to be 15 damage, now it's 20. So you kind of get a fat chunk when you land the whole bang. When you get that, that's where you get like a lot of a lot of the damage out of it. And it's good because you can hit confirm it. So kind what what you would be looking to do obviously at the wall is bam 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 shoulder watch, which is like 70 damages. So it's pretty good. Um, because you can hit confirm it. In neutral, what you'd want to be doing is um you'd wait for the second hit so you can kind of check um, you can kind of check especially because it's, it's only minus eight on block you can check people um if they're pressing and if you see that hit then you then you let it go so you boom and you can delay that so a little bit like that so you can you can kind of hit confirm that which is pretty good um so yeah you can just keep you can keep jabbing people and if you see them press or they get hit by the jab you can just do that so it's pretty good um very very good i like that change so that's definitely something good that's happened to lars as well um the next thing that they changed is that standing three into that and um, when you hold down so it goes into that like <laughs> the root of crouch pose which is this what they've done to this is that they changed the frame advantage when blocked from minus 12 to minus 10 which is pretty good um so yeah on block let's test this out yeah there you go minus 10 um, which is pretty good, but then on hit is changed from plus five to plus seven. So what you could start doing now on hit is stuff like that. Um, we'll go for mix-ups. It's kind of risky because some people may try and launch you if they just don't respect Lars. Um, so that's why this may be a good option to go for. Um, that I think that's probably one of the best options to go for. It's safe and it's a kind of hit launcher. So um, I think that's pretty good. Obviously, you can start checking people with with his other tools like that. Um, but yeah, I think that's a very, very good change. So now another change that he got is that during dynamic entry, so dynamic entry um, three, which is the swivel kick, this, um, they've changed the frame advantage from block from plus four to plus six. So this is really good. Boom, plus six. And then they have to kind of guess what you're gonna do next, which is pretty sick. You can use that in so many different ways now. I think that's pretty cool. So you could potentially go, kind of do something like that or just check if they're you know they're trying to move oh yeah you can you can mess people <laughs> you can mess people up with that with that now so that's going to be pretty cool 
that's gonna be pretty cool to try and use the only problem is it's kind of slow so if someone if someone's on point let's say you're fighting a Steve player um, you could get back one or something so it's kind of it is kind of risky because it's kind of slow yeah the startups quite quite mad but it's definitely rewarding when you when you hit it when you hit it that's that's definitely rewarding in my opinion I think that's a very good move um, another thing that you got is that signing entry um, down forward one which is the um, the mid punch that he has um, they've changed the um, county at properties so as you saw in the video if you watched it he now gets a launcher from this which is what I actually was asking for for a long time which is pretty cool so this now launches which is sick um, during signing entry um, he, in, in two so this they've changed this um, on block so it used to be minus 13 now it's minus 12 um, so that's 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 decent that is decent that is really really good because they're actually giving him more um, you know variety with the lows that you can use now which I'm really grateful for so this is actually minus 12 so that's decent um, yeah that's sick that's, 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 that's good sick and then um, what's the other so on here your is they've changed it from plus five to plus six so that's decent now. maybe it changes depending on how far away you are I'm not sure but yeah it's from plus oh yeah no they've changed it from plus five to plus six sorry so it's now your plus six on here and since you're still low you get the mix up whereas you can kind of mix up your options you can go for another low doosh, doosh, all of that stuff so that's pretty cool um, so yeah that's decent so silent entry um, what else have they changed yeah so yeah his new silent entry move as well is this three plus four so you, you get that now which is it's a very very good move as you've seen some of the combos that I've done um, he gets a lot of like wall carry and craziness that Lars can do now so for example if I was to let me um try something here bang bang this is not optimal but yeah I've done like better combos in the video but that's just an example like you can literally do wall to wall now because of this new move um, which is it's just it's just insane in my opinion it's very good here we go so this might be a bit better ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, uh. Ah, there you go. So stuff like that. It's pretty sick. I think that's sick. Um, but yeah, he need, he definitely um, definitely needed these buffs because he was slacking, man. He was <laughs> he was slacking. Um, so what they've done is they've changed um, this. So they've changed this this string here. So obviously it's minus twelve on block. But the trade off for this um, obviously um, is that the last hit now, bang that mid actually counter hits um, so it staggers when the opponent gets hit so let me uh, see if I can space this right ah! all right hold on bam so he gets that now um, which is pretty good so they've given him more mid counter hit like from standing counter hit options which is good um, and I really like that the next thing that he got is forward to one so they've buffed the damage on this let me turn counter hit on, off. So it's now, this is, um, uh, can I do it right? Yeah, they, so this, they've actually, they've changed the damage on this from 12 to 15, which is decent. Decent. Um, which I think he needed. Oh wait, there we go, this. So yeah, so this is, this is now changed from uh, 12 to 15, which is really good. Um, yeah, so I think they're talking about just the whole string in, in general. Like the last hit, they've they've tweaked that, um, which is pretty sick. And then the next bit that they've done is that down forward to one, which is his elbow into the um, slicer. So this, they've changed this. As you can see on the hit properties, when it flashes up again, I'll do it a bit slower, mid mid. So this is now a mid mid string. So it's. So it's not mid high anymore, so they can't duck the last hit. The trailer for this is that um, on block you are punishable. I think it's minus 14 now. Yeah, you're minus 14. But it's good because you know it's rather than um, you know having people duck it, 
um, it was it was kind of tedious before, but this is this is good. I think this is this is a lot better now. This is a lot better. Yeah, mid mid. So I like that. I like that. Um, the next thing that he got is down back one three. So this move here, which is natural combo. So if you just do that like that, you're minus one. But if you hold down your plus one, which is pretty sick. Um, and yeah, on block, it's no longer. Let me see this. It's no longer um, minus 12. Did I do guard all? Oh, he's just ducking the. Okay. So I think the lot if they if they block the last hit, the standing kick there, um, you should be minus 10. But obviously it's launch if they if they clock onto what you're doing. Um, but yeah, so that's 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 decent. That's actually really good. So you're actually plus now when you go into stance. Which is, yeah, it's good. Plus one. Um, the next thing they've done is down back. So his axe kick like this. They've changed the damage from 17 to 19. Um, and they've changed. They've also changed the distance between the um, you and the character when they get a hit, which is good. Cool. So I think it might have, it might have pushed back or it might have pull them too close to you but I think they've, they've adjusted it a little bit which is really good um, they've also changed the, the damage scaling on his counter hit elbow so uh, not elbow knee sorry this so this used to do 20 let me see this it used to do um, 23 damage and now it does 28 damage so as you can see there so that's, that's a big chunk that is a big chunk so yeah so the first hit, so I'm, I'm guessing the first hit, just raw, does like 23, right? But obviously the whole thing now does a lot more, which is decent. There we go, yeah, so counter hit, it says 27, but I think that's 28. It's supposed to tell you 28, but... So that's decent, and then he goes into the neck break, which is 55 damage. So that's solid, he needed that. <laughs> he Everything he got in this patch, he actually needed, which is decent. I'm happy. Um, another change that, that they gave him, which I am really, really like, is that the forward forward 1 plus 2, which is this, um, is no longer punishable at close range. It's um, actually minus 9. So that is sick. This is good. Yeah, minus 9. So you can literally, obviously, back 1 and then you've got this, which is decent. Because before, if you did this at close range, you'd actually get punished. So that's decent, I like that. The only thing is Art Blast isn't safe yet. I want, I want Art Blast to be safe, bro. <laughs> nah, they're not gonna do that. Um, but yeah, so that's decent. That's that's like a very, very good change. Um, apparently they actually changed his running three. So this, what they changed is they've increased the lower range of the attack. They've fixed an issue with um, in which the opponent could shorten recovery time via crouch input when the move was blocked. Okay, so if, a, if someone blocked this, by them crouching or something, they'd actually be able to get up quicker, which is weird. Don't know why. I've never seen anyone do that or didn't know that they could, but apparently that was a thing. Um, good. That's good on um, the devs, you know, looking out for like the niche things that people don't really notice in like just general day to day gameplay, which is pretty good. Um, and then the final change is that while rising 2 1. This, um, they've ch the only thing they changed was that the last hit on counter hit, which I also showed in the video. Um, is now a launcher, which is pretty cool. So he's got this now, and he's also got this. So that's sick. Um, and that's that's it for the changes that Lars actually got um, in this patch. So I'm really happy for what they've given Lars. Um, one thing I want to showcase as well is obviously the rage drive at the wall, which didn't, which I didn't showcase in the video, which I do apologize for. Is that he can do this now? So it's bum bum shoulder. So that's the actual like combo you should do. The one I showed um, was just the stomp. I just did stomp like this, and you miss out on quite a bit of damage. But thanks uh, for you guys to let me know. But yeah, it's it's, it's pretty decent. Ugh, I'm trying to think of. But yeah, he's, there's, there's, loads, there's loads of stuff you can do now with Lars, which is pretty pretty decent. Down back 2-1. Um, 
boom, shoulder. So that's that's sick. I like that. Um, I'll I'll try one. <laughs> I'm gonna get into the combo vortex now, but I wanna try one like balcony break. There you go. So you can get a hundred damage. Maybe that wasn't even optimal, but you can get roughly like a hundred damage. Definitely very very good. I feel like he actually needed these. Um, because before he was kind of, it was kind of a struggle to play last and there was no real reason to um, especially with some of the, the newer characters that got released there we go ah just missed it but yeah with some of the newer characters like Zafina, uh, Leroy, Fak um, there was no real reason to play last unless you're like a diehard fan like Kai was um, then yeah but I'm, I'm happy with these changes. The only thing is that with the um, the new buffs that he's got with the the counter hits um, like while standing two one and then the silent entry down forward one is that it's very very good. But I can't really showcase it in in the practice mode. I don't think it's an option to make the opponent hit you back if they've blocked. Um, but going into this right is is very tedious because it's not like other characters when they have stances like for example Harawain can do like down three down three four is it I think it's down three four yeah and then he's into like Flamingo and then you've got Flamingo mix-ups etc and he can just rinse and repeat rinse and repeat um Lars um he can do down back one right into into thing but you're minus five right on block so obviously on hit is a different situation but then again, it's still it's still kind of tricky in some some aspects because look minus eight and then you you just unless you're abusing or stealing frames from someone and they're not aware of what you're doing, going into that can be kind of tedious unless you're using it in like okay situations. So like you finish a wall combo, you knock someone down with like this, and then you want to try you know what I mean something like that. Whereas like this is good because this is plus one now, but it doesn't really leave you in like that do you know what i mean obviously he's got this now but still it's, it's just leaves me crouch for those kind of things um and then even the while standing 2-1 which is this the second hit counter hit launches it's minus 12 on block so unless you're just rinsing this throughout the whole match and then eventually one time you throw that out um then you can get a counter hit launcher um or something like this you're minus eight. This is fine. I actually like this. I like this a lot more because you can kind of just use this as your pokes, like alongside down forward ones. You can do that and then occasionally throw out bang. I think that's fine because it's kind of it's kind of fine. You don't have to crouch down and then uh, uh, like. Do you know I mean you don't have to? It's not too bad. Whereas this, you can kind of just throw it out and just check check your opponent, see what their habits are, and then eventually do that, which is kind of cool. Um, so it's good that they gave him like counter hit options from standing, but it is still kind of somewhat difficult. I'm really happy for the buffs though, but it'll take some time to get used to in my opinion. But I feel like one of the main things is just like his stance transitions could be a bit better. Um, like if this was from this, just just from um, silent entry, like if that if this was from that, then he would have been fine. I think it would have been even better. Like if this button, obviously he's got this, but if if like one, if one was this like that option there he just does that and to bang that that'd be sick because then you could kind of just like throw it out like that so like here bang that would be me doing this do you know what i mean so it would make it would make this a lot more scary because then people would wouldn't want to duck right because you've like kind of forced them into like a pushback situation and then you could actually have like a reason to start throwing these out whereas obviously he's got this He's got this right, but you lose your turn, and it's it's all right. But yeah, I feel like just the main thing is just that the stance transitions. Obviously, you have to know when to go into stance and when to use it. Uh, you can't just run up to someone and just get yolo like that. I've done it myself sometimes, but I've just had enough. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like it's it's very good. But he's got this now, which is good. Minus nine. They've given him a lot of the things that he actually needed in this patch. So I'm really happy for the last buffs. 
Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if you agree or disagree, or if you have a different opinion that you'd like to talk about, different points, um, or if there's anything that you think I've missed out, do let me know. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys.